I'm so glad you could join me today for prayer. Our scripture is a little um, challenging. It comes from Luke 6, 22-26. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you and defame you on the account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. In the Gospel of Matthew, there are just blessings, blessings that create this image of all those who find themselves outside what is normal, who find themselves rejected and unwanted, are giving blessings. But here in Luke, he doesn't just stop with saying those who have been outcast, those who have been lost, those who are the least, are blessed. He challenges those who have everything. He says, woe to you. So today I want us to stop and we're, while we pray, I want us to think about that. That sometimes the prayer isn't just about being blessed. It's about saying, hey, what you're doing isn't right. Let us pray. Woe to you. How do you fill that phrase in? Woe to you. Who comes to mind when you think about those who need to be challenged and confronted with what God sees is right? Woe to you. Woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are rich. We know that the economics of our country have changed so much and have given so much great wealth to a very tiny minority of people. Holy, when we ask you to be with those that have that great magnitude of wealth. May you place the people who need to be in front of them to experience your way, a different way. Woe to you. I think about that today as I listen to the news and they've been talking about how Tennessee wants to pass a law to allow children who are 10 years old to be married. They want to allow adult men to marry 10-year-old girls to make it legal. And my heart just cries out, woe, woe to you. My heart cries out, woe to you, when I think about the state of Florida and how teachers are told they can't speak about the families in front of them. People have called it the don't say gay bill. Woe to you who think you know the heart of God. Who think you know which people are included and which people are excluded when you forget the very essence of who God says we are. Beloved, made in God's image. Woe to you.
Woe to you as we received yet another climate change report from the international scientists who today are protesting and trying to block what they see as the destruction of the earth. Woe to you, those who have the power to change, who have the power to save this planet, who have the power to fill people's lives and are choosing another path. Woe to you. Woe to you who believe that you have learned everything there is to know about God. Which is a tough one because we all want to believe we're right. And yet, God, you have so much more to teach us about who we're to be, who we're to love, how we're to experience your presence. So help us take a look at ourselves to see those places where we fall short of who you say you are, who you say you could be, of the mystery that you are. Woe to us who aren't open enough to experience that mystery and find wonder. And Holy One, there is so much woe in this world today. So we ask you to be in those places of pain, to be in those places of longing and hurt, to be with our friends and family who need your presence now as they experience a loss, as they struggle with an illness, as they feel like there's just no changing the circumstances they're in. Holy One, we ask you to bless them. We ask you to enfold them with your love. And Holy One, we ask you to be with us, to show us your way to help us discern the blessings and the woes. Amen.